small village near here to be in the semi-final of the Australian Open, as you say. They've been telling me little stories about him here today. Apparently, he used to come here from being seven years old and run about causing mischief in the cafe next door. And that's when he was encouraged to pick up a racket. And thank goodness he did, because he was identified as having skill, as having power very, very early on. And, and from that, he gave up his first loves in sport, which were actually swimming and cricket. I'm going to speak to a few people now who know him very, very well. I'm going to interrupt their game. Guys, can I just have a, a little chat to you? Um, um, it, <laughs> come over, come over. Um, Mike, tell me, you are a coach here and you must be very, very proud today. Oh, yeah, completely. I mean, Kyle, boy, I've brought up in our club here, started his tennis here. Uh, he's got a huge following of uh, all the players, but uh, obviously... Mike and myself, we were involved uh, in the coaching programme, although not directly with Kyle in the early days. It's just been fantastic. Uh, just so, so thrilled and uh, we'll continue to support him on Thursday. That's great, thank you very much. And, and Mike, he's off travelling the world now, doing great things. Do you ever see him now? Uh, yes, whenever Carl is uh, back in the UK, uh, his mum and dad are members of the club, he comes in. He's done uh, at least three, if not four, clinics with me with, uh, with our Villa Juniors uh, and a couple of the adults. Here. Kyle is Kyle, uh, he's the same boy that he was, a uh, wonderful personality, gives his time whenever it's possible. But obviously, as things progress now, he's going to be spending less time in the, in the UK. Well, that must be great inspiration for the youngsters here, and I know you have many, don't you, who still play here? We do, we, we do. I've got a group of uh, kids that were started playing four or five years old, they're all 16 years old now, still playing tennis, good, good tennis. One of them actually got up at three o'clock this morning to, uh, to watch him play his match. Wow, he's going to be tight at school today, isn't he? Well, and we'll just try and interrupt these guys. They've been up since very early this morning. They're members of the club, uh, and, and they are fans of Carl. Come over, guys. Uh, what did you make of that win today? Oh, that was fantastic. I had my way here. Um, I was coming to play some tennis with Mike this morning. Uh, it's fantastic news. He, he can make it all the way. Does it inspire you? Oh, of course. I mean, he's been here a few times. He's been a few balls. We've been seen a few exhibitions. And, just his timing, the striking of the ball is just fantastic. And how far do you think he can go? Uh, I think uh, I think Federer is obviously the big one, but um, Nadal maybe in the next round. I think uh, I think he can go all the way. His forehand is just phenomenal at the moment. His serves come on massively as well. So there's no reason why he can't win it. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we're told that there'll be queues here tonight. All the youngsters who'll be wanting to hopefully one day follow in his footsteps. Absolutely. Um, he's really inspiring. Thank you very much. Thank you. Out there and pick up a racket. Come on. It's one of those things, isn't it? Go on. Do you like playing tennis? I do. I used to play a lot when I was a youngster. I used to play quite a bit of tennis because I was about nine. Well, you've got a bit, I'm just going to say, you really have the height for it, don't yes, you? Yes, so I, 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 I be scared. Under, I used to play under 12s and I used to play people who were like half my height, <laughs> which is very unfair. But then everyone else caught up with me and I realised I was, in fact, distinctly average. <laughs> 8.50 at 